Passion, I think, is exceptionally important for learning anything. What has been useful to me is probably centered around rigor of discipline. So making sure that every single day you do a minimum amount of that particular thing and you do it for weeks, months, years. Also build a habit. When I'm first learning something, I try to set the goal of doing a minimum of two hours a day of that thing for a year. That first year is really important. It's so easy to kind of skip out on a few days and then uh, days becomes weeks weeks and weeks become months and you lose completely that initial hook at least two hours a day for a year to build the foundation then looking out farther and you can lower that to about one hour a day and that's to build the what i would think of as expertise not even an hour just 10 minutes a day it's been really surprising how good i can get at a bunch of little things i'm just doing every single day not even 10 minutes like one minute a day it's rarely becomes a one minute thing you it usually blows up into a thing that takes an hour but if you just set a hard lower limit and make sure you do it every single day no matter what no matter where you are you end up forming this habit and there's an accumulation effect so that's five years and i think at that point the skill is solidified nicely just even 10 minutes a day for the rest of your life is one way to take further and further steps into mastery the other magic thing about it is you can take off months at a time when you return to it you pick up almost right where you started you know i've certainly had months where i don't play guitar at all and I return to it, maybe it'll take a day or two and you're right back into it. When you take a break, when you rest, is you're going to destroy the habit that you've built. And once you destroy the habit, it's too easy to never return to the pursuit. I personally think that struggle is a sign that you're on the right path. All the things in my life I've gotten the most meaning from learning, I've struggled through it. Self-satisfaction and happiness you feel about life is when there's something that's really hard, but you stick to it and then you eventually succeed. That locks in the lessons into your brain that makes you feel good about yourself, that gives you more confidence for keep doing that in the future. I I think this is helpful for a bunch of people like David Goggins, but a little mind hack, which is imagining that you're kind of a competition with everybody else in the world. So if something is difficult for you, imagining that it's probably going to be difficult for a lot of people. If you just stick by it, you're going to leave all those people behind you. And eventually, if you keep doing it long enough, you'll be the best person in the world at it. That kind of mind hack can help. If you form the habit, eventually you'll get to a set of activities that you enjoy partaking that are a source of a lot of meaning and happiness in your life. Good luck.